Okay, so that's a tomato uh, hornworm. Uh, you can see the horn right there. Um, these are leaf eaters. They cause a lot of damage to the leaves of the tomato plant. And of course, for any plant, once you take off the leaves, they cannot photosynthesize and do all the things that they need to do. So it reduces the yield and a whole range of other problems. There are all kinds of damage symptoms that you can see on the leaves because like I said, they are leaf eaters. Now, this pest is very, uh, devastating to the tomato uh, crop and what typically happens if you have a small operation if you have a small operation what you do typically if it's a backyard garden you just go behind if you are not averse to picking them up you just pick them up and drop them in a bucket of soapy water dig a hole somewhere when you're done and pour the soapy water away and that solves the problem that is not a good recommendation for somebody who has about a hundred acres of tomatoes. You cannot go picking them up. There are all kinds of, if you have, if you are organic like we are, there are all kinds of products that you can use to spray this, this particular pest. Now, there is one thing you need to know about this pest. It, every pesticide, every organic pesticide that we have, uh, most of them work better if you catch the pest when they are still small. The bigger they get, the less effective the pesticides are, which brings us to one of the principal tenets of IPM. You have to have early detection of the pest problem in order to have more effective control. So if you detect this problem early, and that involves monitoring your field very often, the, the more often you monitor your field, the, the more likely that you will be able to catch the problem a lot earlier. Once you catch the problem, if you were going to apply any of these organic pesticides, then of course they are still small. They are um, more easy to deal with. The pesticide has a chance to be more effective against them. And then you spray and get the job done. Now, one other thing, uh, if you notice the, the pick, the shot that we took earlier, they are green. So they are not easy to detect. You have to, you have to have a you have to actually look out for them. That green color, you can very easily miss it. And it has been observed that most of the time when people are walking through the field, uh, they, they, they choose to stop moving. So that makes it even more difficult to, to detect that a pest is uh, out there. So sometimes if you don't know what to look for and you don't look carefully enough, you miss it. And if you miss it, you are not going to spray during that critical window where the pesticides have a chance to be more effective. And if you don't spray it during that critical window, uh, then the pesticides are sprayed. You've spent labor, you spend time, you spend money to buy the pesticides, but you don't get the best results and which adds to your cost of production. And if you are selling your organic produce to uh, a, a community that, that doesn't have the necessary wherewithal or money, to pay for that added value of having an organic produce, then you are forced to sell your products for less than uh, the amount that will help you even break even, and that drives people out of the organic production business. So you have to know what you're doing so you bring your cost down, and if you bring your cost down, you can be able to sell it to people and then you remain in business. That's uh, what I need to say about the hormone.